Hey, all you cool cats and kittens out there. Mr. Fowler here. Uh, we're going to be working on this project over the next few days. Uh, right now, what I do want to do is I want to kind of highlight a little bit uh, about what you need to sort of fill out. Uh, this is the flight plan. You're also going to have a couple of checkpoints. So for right now, I am going to close this for a second. Uh, we have the trip information. This is where we can get some of the information to help us fill in the flight plan. Basically, your task is to complete a or develop a flight plan between Minneapolis, Minnesota and Los Angeles, California. It's going to be departing on December 15th. So here's a couple of other information. You're going to be flying an Air One Airlines, uh, your plane is going to have a range of 3,900 nautical miles. Here's the cruising speed, holds a lot of fuel. It can be up in the air for eight and a half hours and can hold a total of 226 passengers. Our departure is from Minneapolis St. Paul, which is MSP at 8.45 a.m. or 0800 hours 45 on December 19th. And we're going to be arriving in LAX, Los Angeles International Airport. Note there is no time. You are going to be working on right here some information over the next few days. For this first part, you're going to determine or calculate the following for your flight plan. The name and model of your aircraft, make it up. You need to search alternate destination airports. If LAX is closed down, where else could you land in the uh, near Los Angeles area? So you would go to Google Maps and search airports near Los Angeles, and it should bring up a whole bunch. Pick one or two of those. Uh, you do need to figure out a way to measure the distance between the two cities. You can use right-click measure distance and have that happen. Uh, in terms of when you're going to arrive, notice you don't have an arrival time, you are going to go ahead and calculate it. But I have some arrows on the flight plan tab to help you out. And then we do need to have two checkpoints spaced two to 300 miles apart from each other. Remember, we're not on a little puddle jumper, which is like a Cessna. We're in a big old jumbo jet. So cities, mountain ranges, large bodies of water, some large objects that you could look down and say, oh, look at, there it is. You might be able to see larger cities, you know, suburbs, uh, 20,000 people, 30,000 people, that kind of deal. So here's the flight plan. Date of departure. Make up your own aircraft make and model. What's your cruising speed? It's found on the last tab. What is your departure airport? Where are you going to? What are other airports in the Los Angeles area you can land at? Here are your two checkpoints. What time are you leaving? Again, that's all there. However, we don't know our arrival time. So we're going to start up over here. We got to change from miles to nautical miles. So what's the distance between Minneapolis, St. Paul to LAX? Put it in here. Uh, it will do the calculation for you. It'll also change this number for you with no problem. Matter of fact, I'm going to change it to green because it will, if I put in, let's say five here, it automatically changes both areas. Do not hit delete in that green, either green cell. What's your cruising airspeed? You'll find it here. No letters, just put the number and it will calculate it here, but you will get a time and let's just say um, the hours, it'll give you a decimal like four points is so many hours. I don't know how long. But then down here, put only the decimal part from cell H10. So here's cell H10. So put just the decimal part here, and it'll give us the number of minutes. The whole number right here, it says combine the hours, the whole number from cell H10, along with the minutes from G17, which is right here, to help determine the um, arrival time. And as I look here, it's really G16. So I'm going to go ahead and make that change here real quick, live on video. Sorry about that, but at least it is fixed. That should take you roughly one day or one and a half days being hybrid 25 minutes. All right, let's get her done.